Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas mission walkthrough video. After the Key to Her, to her Heart video, um, well, you know, that was the most adult one of the missions. And this is the next mission, which is less adult, more action-based, and kind of a fun mission to do. A little unrealistic, but fun to do. And this is where CJ decides to, um, well, uh, knock out the power to Caliglia's casino. Makes no sense because then all of Las Venturas should have been blacked out. But it is a game, and it's just for fun. So let's get on with the mission. It seemed impossible to keep a secret around here. I would have thought the size of the room would keep the numbers down. Hey, speak up. We can't hear you back here. I appreciate your input, but please, fuck off. What'd he say? <laughs> he said fuck off. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, what are you still doing here? I live here. Oh, okay. You can stay. Great. Hey, where's the coffee and donuts? Okay, look. I'm gonna go shut off the city's power source. Wolves, look after these fools for me. Okay. Now, the important thing to remember with a plan like this is that nothing can go wrong. I like the attempts to interject some humor into these missions. The whole, now CJ's plan is not really working out too well because there's a million people who know about it, and you got some schmoes who just kind of showed up and CJ tells them to bug off, and now he's going to go blow the city's power supply, which... Makes no sense because, yeah, I mean, you don't have a crew set up for the actual mission and ready to execute the actual mission, and you're just going to turn the power off. Again, really doesn't make any sense. But CJ now has to drive to the airport and, well, run over some people and then get in a plane and fly to a, a, a jumping point, I'm just going to fast forward through all of that. CJ has stolen a plane that has a real hard time climbing to the appropriate altitude to get to the ring where he jumps out to land on the dam and infiltrate. Again, makes no sense, but it's GTA and we're having some fun here. So the plane goes crashing down and now CJ is going to parachute in to, well, this is kind of weird. It slams into the dam, which uh, that would probably alert some people that something is amiss. Now CJ has to hit the target zone and float into the area in order to succeed. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because this is just a boring float down. Okay, CJ is sticking the landing here. You just got to get onto the dam. And then it reveals that there is a patrol of, or guards patrolling the quay. And you got to take them out, be all sneaky, sneaky, uh, use a knife, etc. And really, it's fairly simple. As long as guards don't spot you, you can take them down, and I'm going to 
arms CJ with the knife. Um, and he's going to sneak up and kill the guards. Relatively easy. Of course, then again, I probably should just use the silenced pistol, which would make more sense. But hey, if you got this knife trick down, oh yeah, it's a lot of kind of creepy fun. So let's continue on with this mission and CJ going to sneak up on the guard, stop moving if the guard is facing him, creep forward, creep forward, creep forward until he gets to this container where there's a knife, which CJ doesn't need. I brought my own knife. Now you got to make sure the guard doesn't see you and kind of look around. He's coming up. He'll stop, turn around, and then you can sneak up behind him and target him and cut his throat. The next guard, you got to do the same thing for. That's the best you've got. Now the guards are all the way. You've got to enter the dam and, well, deal with more guards. And you'll find out they know you're there. So really, to be honest with you, it's kind of pointless now that they know you're around. And if you can tell by the guard making the phone call, they know where you are and the cops are coming. If you've read that. And all you got to do is sneaky, sneaky up and try and kill the guards. But things sometimes don't work out too well. Cops are on the it's way. Now. This thrill seeker ain't gonna escape. We got a light saying there's been a break in. We got a light saying there's been a break in. Oh, you think you tough? We Nobody need more men in today. here! Oops! Come on, Adam! We got a light saying fight. there's been a break in! At this point, I just brought a knife to a gunfight, and the guy has the upper hand. I think it's time to switch to the silenced pistol and plant some explosives. But, again, this mission doesn't really make too much sense because I'm blowing the power supply before I have guys ready to execute the mission. And even though I'm kind of banging on this thing a little bit as far as logic goes, uh, it's still fun. I mean, this game doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't take itself too seriously. That's why I still love playing it. And I'm doing these walkthrough videos because there's someone who's going to pick this game up and play it at some point. So they have some access to some advice. And again, if you get into this place, use the silenced pistol because they know you're there. And guess what? They're going to be coming with cops. And well, what the hell? It's better off to bring a gun to a gunfight rather than a knife.
Yeah, I don't really like that creepy breathing sound that they put in when CJ walks through the shaded areas. And now he's stuck on top of the dam and the cops are coming. So what does he naturally do? Well, watch and see. Desperate times, desperate measures. He dives right into the uh, reservoir behind the dam. And, well, I guess someone could survive because if you've been to Hoover Dam, and I have, and yeah, it's a pretty far fall from the top of the dam and into the reservoir. And CJ was even higher up than I was. But hey, this is just GTA San Andreas. And it's all just a lot of fun. And hey, this was actually an interesting mission. And I'm see stealing the Sea Sparrow helicopter because driving that boat sucks. And I can actually get back to um, Verdant Meadows and maybe save the game. Anyway, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, well, hit the don't like button. But I prefer if you like it. If you like this type of video, I put them out twice a week, so you can subscribe. Sometimes I'll put them out a little more often. Again, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm trying to monetize this channel at some point. I don't know if I will, but all subscriptions are appreciated. As always, thanks for stopping by.